Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to Pure Tarot. I am doing a love in the morning reading <laughs> on the butcher block <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> um, yeah, I just thought, uh, I don't know, I woke up with love on the brain this morning. So I really felt like pulling some cards for each sign and um, get you started um, today with, um, I don't know, a seed of hope, uh, some kind of uh, motivation and something to look forward to for the day concerning love, your love life, your love interest. So that's what I was in the mood for. So here we are and here we go. <laughs> I'm still uh, enjoying my coffee. Uh, I kind of slept in. I mean, it's not very late, right? It wasn't very, very late, but for me it was late. So that was so enjoyable. Welcome Saturdays. <laughs> Especially for those who have a nine to five job, right? Anywho. Okay, so one card flipped. Oh, wow. Aries, the Ace of Cups. Look at that. <laughs> okay, we're going to pull a romance, romance angel. Wow. You also have love on the brain, definitely. And you have let go of control issues. And lastly, these are going to be quick messages, right? They're just to give you uh, a jump start on the day. And um, I woke up, so I was describing what I had on my on my mind this morning. But I also have um, this comes with a sequel. <laughs> It'll be uh, love in the evening later today. This one wants to come out on your mind wow amazing okay so i mean it's quite um this is quite literal right if you have the ace of cups and on your mind uh, you definitely have one person that you're thinking of uh, greatly very often continuously <laughs> obsessively but uh, in the most positive manner, right, um, this person is someone that you uh, deeply care for. You wish to offer uh, them your love. <clears throat> uh, you want to open up to this person. And I guess the advice here is let go of your control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So this is the advice from this morning <laughs> until we look at... Um, how it did unfold uh, on this evening, when we look at that this evening. Um, obviously, you know, this is, I'm using today as a time frame, but this can apply at any moment, right? Um, and it could definitely unfold uh, on a longer uh, span of time. So anyway, let's move on to Taurus. <laughs> on your mind, Aries. I love when spirit says, you know, let things unfold naturally. It basically means divine timing. But let's concentrate on Taurus's message. If you hear some noise, it's my cat having breakfast. <laughs> Two cards fell out. The Nine of Cups, and they both fell upright. And the, the sorry, the King of Swords. Nine of Cups, King of Swords, if I can actually say it. Let's look at the Romance Angel. Taurus. You def Again, two cards. You want to double up. It's Maybe it's the 1111 portal. Um, you deserve love. And you have true love. So maybe uh, let's take a look at these and see. Interesting. And two cards flipped. No way. Okay, this, I'm not making this up. Okay, you have secrets. 
and live and learn. Okay, this is really cool. So, I mean, I could I could try and do two spreads of three <laughs> or just basically read, um, you know, the energies all uh, together. Anyway, but definitely there's something related to 11.11, right? The, the portal that we just crossed. So it has to, it pertains to some, some deep desire of yours, obviously a connection with the 11.11. Um, no wonder I have love on my brain. So Nine of Cups and King of Swords. I think you're interested in someone um, who's highly intelligent, who's um, very uh, communicative, who is analytical. An oh, I can't say this word in English. Analytic. <laughs> and, um, but also who is very good at synthesizing. So they have both um, uh, capabilities here. They see every detail of a situation and then they can actually step back and analyze. Uh, so they analyze and then they synthesize. They are able to see the bigger picture of, of things. That's that's how they uh, process um, information in their brains. And eventually they communicate it out. So this person is um, also has a very strong uh, will, willpower, a lot of willpower. Uh, so you would know who this is. You have, you deserve love and true love. So you deserve love. I think it points to, uh, you know, maybe this nine of cups here where um, you have a deep seated uh, need uh, to be showered with attention and affection. And so you need to believe that it's for you in order to experience true love, Taurus. It's the, it's the, I guess the last, um, how do you say, like a little bit of a hurdle in terms of remove that block and then <laughs> uh, it'll flow. And then here, this is secret. So I think you're keeping this love interest, um, this particular love interest you have, this wish uh, that you have towards this person that I was describing. Um you keep it hidden because I don't think you believe too much, you know, that you are deserving of it. And it's it's part of a lesson. It's something that you need to learn. You need to live, so experience it uh, and learn. And, you know, that's how you unlock this true love here. You have to dive. You have to dive in. You have to live it you know, with all its, its ups and downs and all its, uh, all of it. <laughs> I mean, you know, only in movies are um, love relationships uh, perfect. And yet again, actually, in movies, they're quite dramatic sometimes, right? So, ain't life the same, as well as mythology, right? Okay, let's do Gemini. <laughs> Love on the brain, love in the morning for Gemini. Let me enjoy my coffee. Gemini. Who do you have on your mind? Who is in your Line of sight, two cards, the six of cups and the ten of wands. So it's definitely someone from your past or someone that you already know. Okay, let's do the romance angels first. They seem to burden you. They seem, you've, you deem the situation a bit heavy, I have to admit. Um... Or you simply, you're very busy right now, so you are only up in your head about thinking uh, about the past here. Two cards fell out. You see, reconciliation is definitely someone you know, and very soon. Okay, so it's definitely, um, so sorry, I was saying you might be really busy with work and just very preoccupied with all kinds of things. And the only thing you could do right now in terms of love is maybe just, you know, think back and um, so go back to your memories instead of actually living it out type of thing, Gemini. 
one card fell out and look at this the secret you two you're keeping this a secret this reconciliation <laughs> i wonder why let me pull another card Okay, so on these Dorian Virtue cards, it says reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. This will be established very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, maybe that's the burden uh, you're also experiencing, right? You might not be very clear on the direction you want uh, this relationship to go. Maybe that's one of the things that is on you know, that is uh, preoccupying you or that you are actually, you know, kind of going round and round <clears throat> in your brain about you're highly motivated. <laughs> okay, so at least you're focused. <laughs> this, um, well, I mean, it could be highly motivated, right, in terms of, again, your work, uh, how much you, energy you put in into your other endeavors. But this is a love reading, so I definitely think you are extremely attracted to this person. And it might be, um, you're just keeping it secret for now. You're not revealing just how much you are wanting this reconciliation. And you haven't done the steps to get there, to actually open up, talk to them. Or maybe you just did. Right? It could be fairly recent, like as in a few days ago. <laughs> um, but you're still, um, I don't know. Let's move on. Let's do Cancer. Dear Cancer, uh, what? Okay. Two cards. Definitely. Like this is the, the sun. And the Five of Pentacles, interesting mix. Interesting mix, yeah. Let me just keep pulling. Soulmate. So here with the sun, uh, you're definitely in your power. You feel super, um, you're, you're full of energy. Too many cards you're full of energy um, you're quite happy you're jolly <laughs> you've got a um i really i'm not going to turn this card yet around i'm going to leave it face down i want to concentrate on the beginning here so the sun um is a beautiful energy of Wanting to extend yourself, not being afraid of shining your light, uh, showing your true colors, uh, being true to yourself, um, expressing yourself in the, you know, the most uh, liberating way and also the most, um, how can I say, like 100%, right? You're, you're not holding back. Yet, it's coupled with the Five of Pentacles. So, it's like you've got this hidden... Um, I guess I want to say your shadow side is sort of a mentality of lack. You're wondering, you know, although you're putting yourself out there with the sun, I think you're still doubting. You have this remnant of a doubt, a shadow of a doubt that, you know, you're actually deserving, that it's going to come to you. You know, this is full force manifestation, right? You're like... <clears throat> Putting your rays, <laughs> sorry, putting your rays out there. So here with the five of pentacles, you were holding back something as well, right? Um, you're actually holding back that you feel like that. You project how confident you are, but maybe um, there's a little lack of confidence here in the back. And I think it's not so much in yourself. It's not a lack of confidence in yourself. It's more so... Um, about finding your soulmate maybe you're doubting maybe it's been a long time you've been on the market <laughs> and you haven't found anything anyone so let's look at this oh wow it's real the sun is uh, definitely a reality card in the sense of things that are actual that are actually that are 
present. They're here in your life in the moment. Um, and they're quite, they're visible. They're, you know, so it's real. This soulmate thing is real. Cancer, if, uh, don't give up. Don't, don't give in to this energy of the five of pentacles. Like, get rid of that because definitely the possibility of meeting a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So you've, there's someone you, you have encountered that you are interested in. And you shouldn't doubt. This is real. This is what you're feeling is real. This is beautiful. I'm so glad I turned that last card last. Almost like a surprise. <laughs> okay. Let's do Leo's. I thought I would be sipping my coffee, but no. I'm talking, talking. Almost cold now. Actually, I need some more coffee here. Okay. Just to warm it up. All right, Leo. Leo, Leo. What is, or who is on your mind? Uh, how is it presenting itself? And what is going on with you guys? Leo's love on the brain. <laughs> Here it is. One card. The Knight of Wands. Okay, so... That could be either you or them. So it's a, a dashing energy, someone um, in your face, <laughs> in the sense that there's no uh, hidden agendas here. That's very clear. The interest that either you have towards someone or they have towards you, they're coming rushing in. Um, they want to sweep you off their feet, your feet. <laughs> or you want to sweep their off their feet. Um, you're in a conquest mode, okay? So you are going to go after this. You're chasing this person. Or they're chasing, chasing you. Uh, this is happening soon, fast. Again, like I said, there won't be any ambigu ambiguities. So what else? What does Doreen have to say? <laughs> okay two cards we have healing family issues and religious factors so that's really interesting so on healing family issues it says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and on religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So the fact that upbringing is linked here with the family. Your family has a strong hold on you. Uh, definitely, it's really important for you um, to have, let's say that this is your person that you're attracted to, that you're interested in. They have to fit in your family circle, definitely. It's important to you. It's important to them. Um, it's a factor. And also, um, you're having a hard time associate yourself with people that have drastic, uh, a drastic contrast of values to yours. Okay, so that's that's definitely in play here, at play here. Um, I want to pull another card on the Knight of Wands. I want to have more info, <laughs> Leo's. I want to know more about this Knight of Wands, and I want to determine. Um, okay, this card. The Six of Cups. It's someone you know. But it, it's funny. It's It might be pointing... Um, I mean, again, this is a family card to a certain extent, okay? So it's really interesting. Okay, here's what I'm getting. I think that you might... Um, 
you you might uh, get introduced to this person that you um, have an eye on through a family member. It's someone in within that circle. It's someone related to your family in some way. You're being introduced, so it's someone that you would vaguely know, loose like you know you would have, you might have heard the name of or known, um, met before, but you know like very casually and just like hello hello being being introduced or something like that. Very superficial uh, superficial encounter, I want to say. But suddenly, you might have, you know, I don't know, met them again through um, some sort of family event or, you know. Religion here, it's, it's interesting. Uh, think about um, an event that would have taken place maybe uh, within a church in, um, in a setting where any religious beliefs or, you know, spiritual beliefs would have been discussed or are of importance i mean it could go as far as um, a spiritual community and i'm not saying a sect <laughs> you know just um you know and then your family could take on the could be a family in terms of maybe not your blood family okay like your soul family okay let's see here leo's be on your best behavior. Interesting. So you probably have to behave. <laughs> I think if you want to impress this person or if you want to have a shot at um, spending time with this person or getting to know them, uh, you have to go gradually. You... You know, this energy, let's say, because we're flipping it, right? It's 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 you and then it's them. Uh, this is really uh, forceful and kind of like, oof, you know, like I want it and I want it now. So maybe slow down. Just, you know, take a breath here and um, <clears throat> do it in a way that is a bit more seductive, charming, you know, instead of just like, um, being, uh, oh, I want you and let's sleep together. <laughs> that might, <laughs> that might, um, rebuke the person, like turn them off because they might be more prude than you. They might want to, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. Let's do, let's do, let's do Virgos. I didn't pay attention to my storage on my phone. It's already so maxed out. So if ever the video clicks, I'll do the the other signs on a different video. I didn't check before starting this reading. Anyways, I'm anticipating something that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> Let me shut up. Okay, Virgo. <clears throat> What's coming up for you? Who's on your mind? <clears throat> Love on your brain. Three cards. I'm going to put them back. Okay. One came out. The Page of Pentacles. An offer. Someone is coming towards you with an offer. Or you might be offering uh, something of value to someone else. You might have a business idea on your minds uh, in terms of partnering with this person in particular. Uh, but it might be twofold. Uh, that's like four cards. I'm going to put them back. You might uh, want to mix love and, uh, and business here. And depending on how you view things, I mean, some people have no qualms about that. And some other people think it's a really bad idea. So, I mean, to each their own. So, Virgo, that's up to you. It's a beautiful, look at that beautiful uh, peacock here. It's exquisitely depicted here. You've got all eyes on you, right? Like those, um, what we call the eyes on the feather of the peacock, on the peacock's tail. So all eyes on you. Maybe even all eyes on that person. So they might have a lot of suitors. That's how you might identify them. Again, four cards. I'm going to actually honor that because twice four cards wanted to come out. So.
So let's look at that. Why not? Okay, this is complex. Release your ex and separation. So these two are definitely connected, these two cards. And here it's a past life relationship and codependency. Okay, so that is the lesson from the previous life. You were codependent before. Uh, this is a very strong bond for you, okay? And no wonder you'd want to mix both business and pleasure, Virgo. I think that this is, um, it has many, many, many layers. <clears throat> this relationship is really uh, multifaceted. It's quite interesting. This is, um, but you definitely just came out of a relationship. There's someone you need to release uh, completely, um, you know, evaporate all of that energy, two cards. Laughter and intentional. That's gorgeous energy to move forward with this offer. Um, to release your ex and to get through this separation, please laugh it out. Please enjoy yourself. Love life. You know, uh, laughter is one of the highest vibration energies there is. It'll just rise your, uh, raise your fr uh, frequency. That is such a beautiful advice and intentional, meaning go and watch some funny movies, watch some uh, comedy, uh, get with your, you know, your best friends, the ones that make you laugh, um, you know, and put in your intention towards, you know, um, maybe investing yourself into this relationship wholeheartedly, right? Or intentionally, intentionally uh, work on releasing your ex in order to be free for this new offer that's coming in. That's gorgeous. All right, let's do Libras now. Libra, 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 Libras. Why am I so singing? Coffee, coffee. There's a song I've been listening to on repeat. <laughs> it's called Sad People by Kid Cudi. I, I mean, I don't have a very good memory for lyrics and stuff. And um, it's kind of irrelevant here because I don't think these uh, lyrics apply per se, but it's just this song is uh, taking over me. Like, I just really love... Uh, the vibe of it and uh, it does talk about you know um, fully becoming yourself if I'm gonna give you a broad uh, idea of what it uh, talks about and I found out I mean I found that that was so uplifting so yeah I've been listening to it so Libra the Empress. <laughs> That's an uplifting energy right there. <laughs> the Empress. I mean, uh, it's your car, Libra. It's Venus in its full power. Um, you might feel really beautiful. You might want to beautify yourself, pamper yourself. You have a lot to give. You're absolutely open to relationships right now. So I don't know if you have someone on your mind, actually. Let me put those back and I get, get one more card here for you. Let's see if... Um, or you're attracting um, or you are you have someone on your mind that is... You're finding someone extremely beautiful. That's too many cards. Actually, one came out, turned down. I'm going to take that one. The Six of Swords, someone at a distance, um, someone on the move, someone that's transitioning. You might be transitioning in all spheres of life, right? It might be in love as well. It could be that you're moving on from this person. That's really interesting. Release your ex. Okay, well, there you go. Doreen confirmed it. So unfortunately it's talking about um leaving some someone behind love leaving a relationship behind libra that's a lot of cards <clears throat> but i'm gonna take the one that was right there fear of the unknown and i'm gonna draw another one 
there were like four cards and I took the one that was on, you know, whatever. I think you maybe even saw what I did. So it's scaring you. Moving on is scaring you because you have nothing in front of you. It's, it's, a, it's a big question mark in front of you. You don't know where you're headed. Uh, you don't know towards who you're going. Ah, so many cards want to come out. Okay. Journey, question, and surprise. Journey, I mean, I couldn't even begin. The journey is this um, movement forward, obviously. At this point, uh, Six of Swords is double confirmation here of moving on. It's scaring the hell out of you. You don't know, you know, it's you're questioning. I just said it's a question mark. You don't know where you're headed. And the beautiful saving grace here, <laughs> silver lining or lead at the end of the tunnel is this surprise. Surprise, surprise. Um... Something good is 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 right there. Um, so don't be afraid. I mean, obviously, easier said than done, right? Um, but it's definitely positive, Libra. Just move towards this beautiful surprise that that's awaiting you. Spirit has something in store for you, Libras. You just don't see it. Trust it. Trust it. Trust life. Trust the universe. Love yourself. Keep laughing. Be happy. <laughs> Bobby Mixer and... <laughs> so funny <laughs> okay Scorpio let's do Scorpio okay the seven of cups you are not without options <laughs> I was gonna say Scorpios are rarely without options um but let's pull and the star okay great you're someone you're wishing for, right? Out of all these options, this one particular one that you um, are wishing for in, you know. I want to say there's one that interests you more than the others. You're putting your faith in um, that particular option. And you know, here on the on the drawing, you have the rose, right? The rose, the red rose, being love. Uh, these other options could be freedom, uh, you know, material like a house. I don't know. You could imagine anything here with all of these uh, different options, but they could be people. They don't have to be different spheres of life. They could be people. Uh, but I think you're wishing on love more than anything. <clears throat> and on one particular person. Ha <laughs> ha! Worth waiting for and passion. Okay, this is definitely pointing to um, keeping faith in love. Keeping faith that this one person that you have um, in mind, on your brain, <laughs> that you... You are correct and you are on the right path. You're not wrong. How can I say this? I'm trying to find the right words. Like you are correcting, correcting in assuming that this is the, the way to go, the right person, um, that you should invest your energy into this particular relationship because it is worth waiting for. It'll be very, very passionate. It ignites you. It's definitely, uh... and here with the star, it promises like, uh, I mean, it's not a success card per se, but it has the um, idea of success, right? Because it's a wish. 
So if you're wishing for this to be successful, it will be. You know, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Divine timing is at work in your love life. That's what these uh, Doing Virtue cards are saying. This is interesting. So it's either someone you've met that you're really... Um, that you have uh, in your line of sight or you haven't met them and you just need to trust oh well you've met them memories interesting you already have memories with this person you've you know this person that's let me pull another one like this, Scorpios. That's really interesting. You get be on your best behavior and vigilance here. A strange energy suddenly. I see vigilance here as, you know, you having uh, many options. So you're watching all of these different people. You're watching how they behave how they're, um, what they're doing, you're scrutinizing, <laughs> so Scorpio, to be scrutinizing and, uh, you know, making sure before even stepping into anything and approaching anyone, they really take their time and they want to make sure they're so skittish in that sense. But it's a matter of uh, trust, right? Scorpios cannot tolerate. And the, the word tolerate, tolerance uh, or to tolerate is not even strong enough. Scorpios do not allow for betrayal. It, I think it's the worst thing you could do to a Scorpio. And so uh, they know that about themselves and they, they really take time to get to know the people that they let into their life because they want, they want to make sure they won't be betrayed one day. And maybe that's what the memory is. The memories are like memories of, you know, past hurt. So they're being really weary about, you know, this, this new or these new people that they're looking at and making sure that the one they eventually select here with the star um the one that maybe they prefer because i i sense that there's uh, a preference already right there's a preference established here with worth waiting for and you know scorpio is looking for passion so they want to make sure that this is the right one interesting <laughs> scorpio oh, this is a astrology crash course on the Scorpio because this is so so of the sign okay let's do Sag Sagittarius what are they up to but not so much what are, what are you up to Sagittarius who is on your brain what is this love ah oh, i love this the two of cups so sag you're in love or <laughs> you want to be in love <laughs> um i'm gonna draw another card so I mean, it looks like you've met someone that you are totally head over heels for. You might have already exchanged your cup of love with this person, meaning it's known, it's said, it's um, it's in the works. Oh, and then the two of pentacles. Interesting. Two twos. Okay. So this tells me that you're, um, maybe you have, <laughs> maybe there's two people. So um, third party situation here. Or simply, without being a third party, you're not too sure. So you're just like, as much as you want this relationship, you want this to be um, 
an absolutely reciprocal across the board kind of exchange love exchange you're still unsure um whether this is uh, whether you want to actually give in and go all the way right like all the way it's always scary for anyone i think i don't care what people say uh worth waiting for here I don't care what people say. <laughs> Some people are more confident than others, but everybody has this thing where sometimes, you know, not sometimes. I mean, before you really give in and fully open up, um, there's always some fear. Getting to know each other. You see, this is the perfect buffer. This is exactly what you need, Sagittarius. You need just some time as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. That's what you need. You just need more time. Maybe the juggling is just like this thing of a little bit like the temperance, right? You're just uh, um, harmonizing things and um, sort of gauging the other person. So by slowly exchanging, you're getting to know them. And then that way you are, first of all, exchanging energies and adjusting as time goes um, and fine tuning the relationship. And you see timing is really of essence here. It's worth waiting for. So just invest uh, the time that it takes to Go through that process with this person. I feel you've met them, Sagittarius. <laughs> you have something cooking. It's more than cooking. I think you're really... Um, no, it's cooking. You're actually, you know, you're stirring the pot there. <laughs> and look, it's a gift. A gift from heaven. I won't even pull any other cards. Uh... This says it all. This is, uh, this was for you. This is, is for you. It definitely is. Definitely is. <laughs> Amazing, Saj. I'm very happy for you. May this relationship be the one, the one and only, your forever person, your, your future spouse. All the best. Okay, let's move on to Capricorn. Love on the brain for Capricorns. What's up? What's up? What's up? Who is this person? Or what is this energy? What is Capricorn experiencing in love? Three cards, why not? Knight of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, really interesting. I'm going to keep pulling. Go to the Romance Angels right away. Too many. There, one card. True love. Okay, this is really interesting. So, um, before I go to these cards, so the Knight of Wands, someone is coming for you, Capricorn. Someone is really interested in you. Um, and you're getting... <laughs> You're giving them the two of pentacles. You're like, nah, I'm not sure. You know, like, you, this is, you know, um, you might be like, okay, this is going fast. Uh, this is, you know, you might be uh, even <clears throat> thinking that this person is not so serious. You might, you know, think um, kind of negatively, quote unquote, um, you might be thinking or presuming that because they're going fast, that they're not reliable, that, you know, they're just, um, <clears throat> here's, 
here for a good time and you know that they're that they're not going to be really invested in you etc so you're really like undecisive about this and uh you're really you know you're not just undecisive you're one foot in one foot out so you're sort of giving in but then you withdraw all the time like you you're basically as fickle as this person that you that you perceive to be you perceive the other to be fickle, but you're the one that's being fickle. <laughs> and then here, what's it's really interesting, something happens. There's, a, I believe, a communication. For me, it's it's a, a sign of you two sort of talk it out. There's, there's a conversation. There's some truth coming out. There's definitely a moment where the juggling stops and something is being uh, decided or, you know, um, yeah, it's like cutting through the bullshit. <laughs> and I think it's it has to do with um, true love. This is, uh, I think at some point you realize that your feelings are much more um, deeper and they are your compass. They are the, that's what you need to trust, right? This is what's happening for you. This is the truth. The truth is this true love. Um, and look at that unforgettable okay this is definitely what's happening for you you get an epiphany basically that's what it is it's a huge epiphany on you know shifting what is only perception of how, you know your i guess your preconception or your the judgments how you are again perceiving i'm not expressing myself properly here but i'm trying to say like you you might have been judgmental about this person right and and said oh they're like this they're like that they're like that but in the end it's it's it was only your fears and you're cutting through you know all of this um nonsense you um and then you realize this is unforgettable. This person is unforgettable. They're probably occupying your mind quite a lot, right? They're always on your brain. <laughs> okay. All right. That's that. Let's do Aquarius. Aquarius, love on your brain, Aquarius, who is in your thoughts, but mostly, what is this energy, we have the nine of pentacles, coupled with the page of cups, really cool, this is like <clears throat> you being very independent in true Aquarian fashion, super aloof just like minding your own business taking care of business you're you know just um being in your power feeling good with you know your freedom and suddenly someone comes and reveals their feelings for you There's someone that's um, attracted by your, I guess what they perceive to be, or your strength. I have the word strength, and it's this, there's no strength card here. There's nothing pointing to that per se, but maybe they in, they see your financial independence you know they they know that you um look at that free yourself so the notion of freedom and let your friends help you this is so aquarian okay aquarius is all about friendships and networking and circles and community and uh here free yourself they're all about freedom and this card the nine of pentacles and the freedom card here especially with the unicorn um you know 
Aquarius are extremely unconventional and they like to think of themselves as original and they often are. So they, they really need their freedom, their freedom of thought, of movement. Don't try to, <laughs> don't try to rein in um, an Aquarian. Don't try to tie them up. You will definitely lose them. I don't know. This offer might be coming from a friend. It's someone in your community. Someone reaching, reaching out to you. Or you're reaching out to somebody. Aquarius. But I want to say they're reaching out to you because it's your friends are going to help you. But you do need to ask. really interesting I want to know more about this page of cups okay we have two cards oh three interesting <laughs> it says around the corner there's boredom and there's daydreaming that's really interesting that's what it is that's why you need to free yourself you need to free yourself from this energy of being stuck, you know, maybe even spending too much time at home. Um, so you're so bored that you're, you're only up in your head. You're dreaming, right? You're not get, getting yourself out there, meeting people uh, in flesh, right? In, in, in real time. You need to free yourself from this energy that is keeping you stuck. And let your friends help you is basically, um, you need to call your friends, you need to see your friends, you need to go out with your friends. And around the corner for me, um, you know, I, it did come out. It doesn't matter how um, the order it came out. For me, there's something, it's like the other reading I did, um, was it Leo? I can't remember. They had the surprise at the end. It was Virgo, I think. Or Libra, I don't know. <laughs> but they, at the end of the reading, it's like they had the around the corner. I think it's Virgo. Let's look at what's around the corner. Why not? Because I feel this is around the corner, this Page of Cups. I'm going to leave them, these two together. Around the corner is the Page of Cups. Why is that? Home. home are you going back home are you traveling you might live in a different state a different province a different town i've got too many cards here and then i pulled two the ace of cups and the two of swords the two of swords is absolutely this boredom energy you're not free. You're not free. And here the Ace of Cups is coming home to yourself. Coming home and finding love. There's definitely something related to... Um, that is really interesting. Hmm. Home. Whatever home means to you. Going back to the, I don't know, your, your parents' home. An old home. Buying a house. Moving. I get the idea of maybe traveling back to a place you call home. Pisces. Let's look at you. Love on the brain for Pisces. What is happening, Pisces? The Knight of Swords, a message. But it's not so much a message as um, a 
huge rush of energy. Ooh, the Nine of Swords. Something is causing you a lot of stress and it's because of its speed. Something is too fast for you. You are not liking this, Pisces. I'm going to take these. I don't care at this point. One, two, three. Wow. Devil, Seven of Cups, and Emperor. Devil, Seven of Cups, and Emperor. This energy here. Too much control. I mean, the emperor can be very controlling as well, right? He's domineering. He dominates because that's his role. I mean, he's the one in power. He's the one who decides. He gets to call all the shots. Um, it's got you so confused. Um, you know, you're absolutely... You're confused. You're conflicted. You're not well. Ooh, dreary Pisces, what's happening? I mean, there's a codependency, there's a strong attachment. Very uncomfortable energy. And uh, this Knight of Swords here, this person is cutting, cunning, especially with the devil, right? I mean, Knight of Swords doesn't have to be cunning in itself, but with the devil energy, yes. Pisces, you're getting the the hard reading here. Did a card flip me? Poor little Pisces. You guys are so sensitive and soft, naive. You're so gullible. You must have believed this person. You must have really like you you let them take control of you of you. Body and soul. Maybe the Knight of Swords here is you cutting out. You 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 want to you know get the f, f out of this uh, relationship. You just want to rapidly, there's way too many cards. <clears throat> you really want to get as far as pos possible from this person. This one wanted to come out. <laughs> free yourself. <laughs> Definitely free yourself from this controlling individual. <laughs> That's causing you so much pain and confusion and stress and turmoil. Gosh, you know, free yourself. Get the F out. That is so friggin' clear. Okay, Pisces. One positive card for you, please. <laughs> oh, boy. <clears throat> One more card, one more card, one card or two, something. <laughs> it's like the cards like are exploding. There's one that did, like, you see, that's the energy. It's like, this thing is like, it's a bomb, right? You just want to like explode it. But then what the hell is this wish come true? I don't know, maybe it's like the uh, Aquarian and the Virgo read. There's like um, something by leaving this situation. <laughs> um, something good awaits you. Or maybe the wish is really just to free yourself. Like I said. <laughs> I'm laughing at how I'm shuffling these cards and like, they won't comply. or They're just like... Shuffling is just as important as drawing the cards sometimes. It just speaks volumes. Okay, here's the ultimate card. Let's see. Investments. Interesting. 
Okay, well, there's definitely something else to uh, go and put your energy into. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Um, it might be a financial, um, something totally unrelated to love, right? So you might be turning your focus. Um, <laughs> what a weird reading. Poor Pisces. <laughs> The other signs has so much more, um, I don't know. They just had an easier time than you. There it is. I will do lunch. Uh, lunch. <laughs> love at lunch. No, love in the evening. And we'll see uh, if anything uh, good came out of um, today. Uh yeah, maybe something will come out of the portal for you and change this energy. On that note, I bid you a super beautiful day and I'll see you later.